Hey everyone, Tragic the Garnering back again, this time with another unboxing of some cards that I got from eBay. Um, here's the total, 400 bucks, and some shipping, 35 and let's, before we take a look at the pictures, let's look at the description. Uh, you can read that here if you want by pausing it, basically... I'm not sure how good I'm going to do on this. Maybe I got hosed. It's really hard to tell. It's it, it seems like he doesn't know what he has, but he then took all the time to segment these out to the different um, logos, the sets. Um, he says he could milk the value for himself, but he's not going to. So it's just a little fishy. Um, uh, I don't know what to expect. Sometimes when I take a gamble on something like this, I do really well, and sometimes I don't. So that's why this is definitely like gambling and not investing. Uh, although we do, I do end up doing okay most of the time. Um, just take a look at some of these pictures here. Just a uh, was that a five thousand count box? Um, strangely there's some Pokemon boxes in there and it looks like it has been sorted at some point um, the interesting thing is that when you lay when he lays out some of the cards um, there is some good stuff there if you were really trying to maximize and you knew what you were doing you would put this Rafalos more prominently featured I don't know there is some Urza's legacy and saga stuff here and the rares he does talk about that in the description um, all this unglued stuff is nothing great. Uh, the next page, there's more Urzas, rares, got some Multanis, um, and uh, you know some some enticing stuff in there. Um, and then this apparently might all be foils, or most some of it's foils. It looks like a foil gilded lotus. So they knew to. Um, pull out the rares and the shinies and show them off and who knows what's left in there uh, he did say there was like 400 and some legends cards um, even if those are commons I definitely am interested in seeing that kind of stuff so anyway we're going to get into this here let's see if I can switch over and get this box out and show it to you. Let's see what's the best way to do this. There we go. Here's this box from eBay. Honestly, like this box is small enough, short enough anyway, where I could just put it right back here on the desk. And you can see it came from Chicago, redacted who I am and who they are. Because that's what you do. So here I am. I'm going to open this box. It's fully taped up with eBay tape. Let's just take a quick peek in and see if it looks good or not. And then, over the course of several videos, I'll go through it all and really see what I got. All right, so I'm going to have to work with this box down here, it looks like. Oh, it's like upside down. Uh, I was tear this all over. Rippy, rippy. Oh gosh. Okay, here's a big box. Let's just take a quick peek in here and see what we kind of stuff we've got. There's one lonely loose card. What is it? It's a relic ward from Visions. Cool. Um, the description said that it had been sorted um, by set, but that they didn't know what they had. So let's put that to the test. Here's some rares. I think this might have been what was shown 
on one of those pages here are some foils some foil basic lands gilded lotus it was not a foil okay that's fine this was what was on really what looks like was on those three pages there's a no mercy that's good that was shown goblin king was shown Multani. Just one, I think there was two. There it is. Elvish Piper's good. These incubators are good. So, this right here is I don't know where's that Rafalos. Must be in here. Some saga stuff. Rafalos. Alright, so this right here would have been the chase. This is the the uh, the staging, possibly. So what else is in here? Okay, scanning time on this lot, finally. I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of that, but I actually opened that box uh, back in sometime in October, and it is now March of 2019 uh, that I'm actually going to go through this. Uh, that's how long my backlog is here. So at this point, I just got to get it done. Um, so here we go. Fire Diamond. I think these diamonds are kind of coming up in price. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to pull that and show it off over here. But Sky Diamond. See, these diamonds are doing pretty good. Here we go. Pull that one. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Teferi's Isle. That's great. Five dollar card right there. Um, it's so funny. So this is a card that um, it, it phases in and out, right? But it, you can add two blue to your mana pool um, when it's not phased out. Uh, I'm not sure if that's on the reserve list or not. Now Mountain Valley is another one of those um, tap fetches, so it's a little bit a buck there. Cool. Fury is an uncommon. Now look, a yar or a yar? <laughs> How do you say a yare? This is a reserve list card. Target creature defending player controls get plus three until end of turn. That creature may be assigned to block up to three creatures this turn. All blocks must be legal. So it's like you're trying to trap your opponent's creature with something that has like that touch. I don't know. This is one of those cards that is like unplayable. But it's a reserve list card. It's a rare. And I pull it. Bizarre Wonders is another one that's a reserve list card. It's actually a little bit more. Buck 36. Uh, Unfulfilled De Desires. That's actually a decent card. It's another reserve list card, I think. And it's over almost three bucks, so that's a keeper. Mind then political trickery, another reserve list card that's actually gone up a bit. Um, that one actually might even be a little useful. Let's see. Choose target land you control and target land an opponent controls. Exchange control of those lands. So I could see that seeing some play in certain decks and.
Null Chamber. Hey, there's another reserve list card that actually is worth a little bit. Yep. Three bucks there. Okay. Fire breathing. Final fortune. That should be a little bit. Yeah, a couple bucks there. Tell them Tor's Edict. Another reserve list card that's worth a little bit. A couple bucks there. And Carrion. That's that's decent. Another reserve list card. And it's a couple bucks. Bad River, another tap fetch. This one might be. Ah, eh, it's actually pretty good. 250 for that one because it gets. You can tap and then fetch for a swamp or an island. Welding jars are okay. Let's see. Oh, they're more than okay. A couple bucks there. So let's start a new pile of okay Mirrodin stuff right there. Talisman of Progress. Maybe this is the one. That's the one. 381 for a Talisman of Progress. Alright, so let's see some more of those. Fabricate, hey, that's good. Let's see here. Yeah, four bucks for a fabricate. Another fabricate, cool. Put that there, we'll add one more. Wow, oh, lightning greaves, great. Wow, that's great. Six bucks for lightning greaves. And another fabricate. Okay, so well, this was a legitimate deck of decent cards. Whatever this was that was left behind. And there's a little bit of good stuff here. Frogmite, probably not. Fabricate, another one. Cool. Pyroblast is one that's probably okay. 233 for a Pyroblast. We got two of those. Mystic Remora. 
another card with cumulative upkeep, which now I think there's ways around that, so that makes a card like this pretty good. Whenever target opponent successfully casts a non-creature spell, you may draw a card. That player may pay four to counter this effect, so if you've got something that keeps you from having to pay cumulative upkeep, I can't, I don't know off the top of my head, cool, there's four of those, um, then you'd be in business. So, show those off there. Uh, Jeweled Amulet. Buck 50, sure. Fire Covenant, that is a rare. I'm sorry, it's an uncommon. Wow, I was wrong. But it's still an okay card. The Finhorn Elves, believe it or not, are actually okay. Buck 89, it's just the Llanowar Elves. I guess it's just a, if you really need a bunch of mana dorks in your deck, then there's an extra one. These uncommon lands from, from from Legacy, some of them are okay. Let's see. Three Conclave. Buck 30. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Cool. But treetop villages are okay. Buck 41. So one, two, three, four of those. Buck 30 for six. Fairy Conclaves and Buck 41 for Treetop Villages. So Spawning Pools are no-go either. And I got a bunch of those. Oh well. Pyrexian Reclamation. There we go. Now we're talking. One, two, three, four of those. Okay, great. Show those off. There's a place set of Pyrexian Reclamation. Oh, crop rotation. Okay, so there's a couple of those. Staple of, I guess, Legacy, right? At the time you play Crop Rotation, sacrifice your land, search your library for a land card, put that land into play, shuffle your library afterward. Get what you need. Whatever card you need, that's what you need. See, the foil of that is r ridiculously expensive, and I guess I'm not going to have any chance of finding any of those in here, since there are no foils that I'm seeing. Rancor. Cool, we got a bunch of these. Buck 23 on one, two, three, four, five Rancors. Actually, there might be more in the next little stack. Yep. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen Rancors. Hold on, there's more. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen Rancors. Oh my gosh. Well, that was a good hit right there. Over seventeen bucks of Rancors. All right. I think that's going to do it right here. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17. That was a decent little score right there. All right, I got to pause here and I'll be back to scan some more in a bit. Cool.
Meditate is on the reserve list. And it saw a little spike last year, but it's probably back down. Ah, eh, 750. So, decent hit there. Sapphire Medallion, that's probably decent. That's better than decent. Nine bucks. One of the best cards I've found so far. Let's see. A couple cool little hits there. Altered Dimension might be another one. Let's see. So, ah, we're frozen over here. You can't even see the prices. Well, look at that price. Alter of Dementia, 666. Um, best not to read into that. Sapphire Medallion was 9. And Meditate was 750. Township, Baron Sangir. Not in good condition. It's actually a rare that is a little bit. And I think it's on the reserve list, actually. And Zirin Ruins, finally. This is actually a rare on the reserve list, so these are a little bit. Two bucks. And there's a couple of them there. Is this one... That's alright, there's nothing wrong with it. Argothian Tree Folk and a Might Stone. Now that was cool. Uh, let's see... I'm going to pull all these cards from the dark, but they're nothing big. But a Might Stone might be a little bit. Let's see. 445. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a keeper. Looks like, oh, this is the land section. Now, okay, that's a, that's a promo land, I think. Arena promo. See the little M? Let's see what that is. Arena promo, seven ninety five. Excellent. Yeah, there's a big stack of this section, so it looks like it's going to be all basic lands. But you got to go through them all. Um, there might be something that really stands out that someone didn't know to pick. Like a unlimited island right there. So slightly more gray font. The I and the island font or uh, text is kicked all the way to the left. Makes it a two dollar land that you can't see what just happened because we're frozen. All right, moving on. Looking for more snow covereds. Oh, but oh, cool. There's a few. All right. Um, there's two islands, bing bing, put those there, and a snow covered plains, that's a buck, great. This Mirage Swamp is actually slightly better than, yeah, than other swamps, so I'll pull that one too. Here's a couple more of those promo, the arena promo lands. Ah, another arena promo forest. Almost 32 bucks just in basic forests. Love it. Another arena promo forest. That's a cool portal swamp. Let's check it. Yeah, I have a feeling I haven't seen 
that art I don't think before and sometimes portal is a little bit more rare that's a good one 369 for a, a white tree swamp from portal Buried alive. Okay, I thought that was a little better. 250 for that. Yep, so on the listing, this guy had said that there were legends cards in it. These are not legend cards, <laughs> these are Chronicles cards. So that's definitely one pitfall I I really feel like this guy was not trying to mislead I think he just saw the the logos and sure enough those are legends logos great they're unfortunately not gonna be worth much to me um, yeah so for the original legends version would have been a buck the anthologies version is 25 cents so I guess not Chronicles, they are anthologies. I'm not sure if there was much of anything. I think uh, Strip Mine was printed in anthologies. Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think Blood Moon was, and it's a dark card anyway, so. Yeah, I think these are all gonna come up. Okay, that's Chronicles version, 11 cents, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what the overlap between Anthologies and Chronicles is, but they're pretty much probably the same. Um, and so, as such, there's not much to like right here, I don't think. I'll know it when I see it. I think I see it coming up, actually. Um, Pendlehaven, uh, Chronicles or Anthologies version is probably pretty decent. Time shifted now. Anthologies, three bucks. Okay. We'll keep that one. Scanner's driving me nuts, getting frozen here every time. Anything else good out of Chronicles or Anthologies? Hey, a Concordant Crossroads is good. Cool. That's a that's a good card. It's not that good. Hold on, let's see. It's only 21 good. Hey, well that's the best card I've found so far. Okay. We're almost getting somewhere here. Anything? Spellbook, that's a good card. Yeah, a couple bucks there, sure, throw it there. Reconnaissance, now I do know this card. Nice, there's two of them, so those are worth a little bit. Eight bucks times two. Great. Um, goblin tutor. You can get your goblins if you need it. Hey, that's actually good. 223 for a goblin tutor. A chaos confetti. <clears throat> you can actually tear this into pieces and throw it. Pay four, tap it, tear chaos confetti into pieces, throw the pieces onto the playing area from a distance of at least five feet, destroy each card and play 
that a piece touches, remove the pieces from the game afterwards. So, right, the real Chaos Orb, I think you just actually flip the card, right? You don't destroy it. But this one, you actually tear it up. So that's kind of fun. It's worth a slight bit more. I'm going to pull it. Probably because any of them that have been actually used or fully destroyed it would make it a little more rare. Bronze calendar. Chicken egg. It's like a rook egg. That's funny. Clay pigeon. Sensor. Ooh, what's in there? Can I show this on YouTube? I don't know. Mana Flare, that's a rare. Fifth edition Mana Flare. Saw it as a fourth. Let's change it. Fifth edition is actually a little bit more, that's funny. Check these fourth edition out. Look, the Stronghold Tag Team Champion. Well, that's great. On the back of this Circle of Protection, you definitely want to be the Tag Team Champion. That's funny. The Rack. There we go. It's a fifth edition. I'm sorry, fourth edition. It's over a buck. We'll take it. Wins a change. I think is an okay card too. Fourth edition wins a change. Six bucks. That's a winner. Counterspell. Always worth pulling. Yep, it's a fourth. Think. Bad man. Okay, cool. 5th edition version with really cool art. This might be a buck or two. Yep. There we go. Stasis. Great. 4th edition. What? 4 bucks? Something like that? 5 bucks. Great. Mistress Factory. Okay, great. And a brush land. Cool. We got some good stuff here. Fourth edition, buck ninety six of Brushland. Can it see it? It's like a fifth edition, right? So nope, that's like the um the anthologies or chronicles. Let's take a look and see what it comes up as. Brushland anthologies, five bucks, great. Hey, we're almost there. Just a little bit more to break even. Goblin King, okay, great. This one might almost put us over the top. It's not an alpha. It is a another anthologies. Buck seventy five, not quite enough. I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, Granite Gargoyle from Revised should be just a little bit. Yep, 266. We did it. We broke even. And we still got a bit left to go here, so I'm going to declare this a success. A Bottomless Vault. Buck 21 for a rare there. Let's see. Oh, a Shivan Dragon from Revised, though. That's decent. Great, that one has seen some play though. And it's definitely not that one. 
Uh, let's see, revised, revised, revised. 997, I would take half of that. So that's, that's good. All right, what else? A game of Chaos, that looks like a rare. 282, great. Um, yep, fifth edition. Ivory Tower, also a rare. Contamination is a rare. Is it a good one? Ooh, it is. 16 bucks. During your upkeep, sacrifice a creature or sacrifice contamination. Whenever a land is tapped for mana, it produces skull black instead of its normal type and amount. Great. Wow, very cool. All right, we'll, uh, we'll keep that one. Okay, here's the last box with all the goods in it. It's a Pokemon box. Is this guy trolling me or what? Here it out. Gates of the Aether. 228. Confusion in the ranks. 270 fiery gambit all mirrored and stuff three bucks culling scales a foil rare not a big one 356 though for a foil great now a gilded lotus 270 Come down quite a bit. Platinum Angel. Four bucks. Different version. Five bucks for the mirrored inversion. Great. We're getting somewhere now. Nope. Uh, Mind Slaver might be a little bit though. Yeah. Four bucks there. Cool. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. A Proteus Staff. Three bucks there. Mind's Eye. Four bucks there. Nightmare Lash. Couple bucks there. Necrogen Mists, three something. Cool, all right. No Mercy, finally a good one. Whenever a creature successfully deals damage to you, destroy it. Yes! Worth bucks. I think it actually might have gone up since, since I actually bought and paid for this months ago. Goblin King though, that should be a little bit. Couple bucks there. Uh, Goblin Welder. There we go. Malimo. Or I'm sorry, Multani, not Malimo. But he's a Mara Sorcerer. That is a reserve list card right there. And it's worth a little bit. Uh, Convalescence. I think this is a good. Here's another Multani. Put him there. Convalescence. 
I, th I thought it was going to be a good card. During your upkeep, if you have 10 or less life, gain 1 life. No, no, that's bad. Yeah, you, you don't want that. I'm thinking of Opalescence, I think. That's a good card. Uh, make sure we're not frozen. Elvish Piper. There we go. Three bucks there. There's a Zincubator, another card I think that's been on the rise lately. Eight dollars. Goblin Marshall. Not quite. Rain Academy Chancellor. I'd rather have the Academy Rector, I think. Attrition? I think this one would be okay. Here we go, another Urza's Incubator. But being Attrition. Six bucks there, great. Jack in the Mox, that one's decent. 446. Phyrexian Processor, that one's okay. Rophilos, Lanawar Emissary. 19 bucks. Yep, that's great. I'll take it. Another attrition. Two more attritions, actually, right here. So one and two. Oop, oop, got a place out of those now. Last card is a Thrangle, on which this one won't be much. So that's going to do it. Okay, that is actually the total. I took off everything that was under 90 cents. And that's it for this collection um, the guy had probably sold off some of the good stuff but he left actually some pretty good stuff behind so worth my while to finally go through this ended up at 649 on an initial investment at 436 um, so not bad can't complain about that and I had fun doing it and as usual make sure to like and subscribe and catch you on the next one. Thanks.